Hello, I'm Dr. David Johnson, Professor of Medicine and Chief of Gastroenterology at Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk, Virginia, and welcome back to another Computer Connect. Well, fluid resuscitation in acute pancreatitis has been really our only approach for initial treatment of patients. We don't have any pharmacologic measures, and what the goal is is to try and prevent them from developing moderate or severe disease, which is approximately 35% of patients presenting with acute pancreatitis, and this is associated with worse outcomes. We do know from animal models that there is regional hyperperfusion of the pancreas, and this specifically correlates with necrosis, and this may be corrected by fluid resuscitation. So national guidelines have been pretty staunch about recommendations that we should have aggressive fluid resuscitation during the first 24 hours in particular. Randomized trials, however, have been somewhat mixed, and a recent meta-analysis and systematic, re systematic review has suggested that, that the, the heterogeneity of these trials is such that, that we probably have not been getting the correct message, and it actually may be the converse, that over-aggressive fluid resuscitation may have consequent adverse effects. So we'll enter into the discussion today the landmark study that was published in the New England Journal just recently called the Waterfall Study. This is an early weight-based fluid-aggressive versus non-aggressive goal-directed fluid resuscitation in the early phase of acute pancreatitis. It involved four countries, 18 centers. The countries are India, Italy, Spain, and Mexico. And they were randomized in a one-to-one -one ratio of patients that were presenting with acute pancreatitis. They used the revised Atlanta classification, which requires two of the criteria of abdominal, typical abdominal pain, serum amylase or lipase, greater than threefold upper limit of normal, uh, or pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis on imaging. They excluded patients that had severe, moderate or severe systemic disease and patients that had multiple comorbidities portending a worse outcome and in patients who had their, their symptoms for no more than 24 hours, so they presented to the emergency no more than 24 hours after the pain onset, and they were randomized within at least uh, less than eight hours after the, the initial diagnosis was made. What they were looking at then was the approach with aggressive fluid resuscitation or moderate fluid resuscitation. Aggressive fluid resuscitation consisted of a bolus of 20 mLs per kilogram body weight, followed by 3 mL per kilogram per hour. The moderate fluid resuscitation consisted of a 10 mL milligram per kilogram in, in those patients that were hypovolemic. And in patients that were euvolemic, there was no bolus given. And then both these latter two groups were assigned to 1.5 mL per kilogram per hour. And the ascertaining the safety and the outcomes were was assessed at 12, 24, 48, and 72 hours. The primary outcome was the development of, of moderate severe pancreatitis during the hospitalization, but the primary safety outcome was on fluid overload. Fluid overload was defined by signs of fluid overload symptoms or imaging criteria meeting that diagnosis. Initially, the patient uh, population was estimated to need 744 patients, and the first interim assessment for safety was done at 248 patients, and at that point, the trial was stopped. The reason is, is that there was no difference as it relates to the moderate versus the, the severe, the, the aggressive fluid resuscitation for outcomes, although it was trending in improved outcomes as it relates to moderate severe disease development, less in the, in the moderate uh, resuscitation. Same for hospitalizations and organ failure. There was a major difference in safety, however, as it relates to fluid outcome. And again, this was defined by signs of fluid outcome, symptoms, or volume overload evident on some type of imaging. The difference was 20.5% in the aggressive and 6.3% in the moderate resuscitation. Again, this was defined in, in a way the odds ratios were 2.85 greater and prompted the Data Monitoring Safety Board to stop the study. Notably that the patients were all begun also on oral feedings within 12 hours after they had the intensity of abdominal pain described at least using their validated instrument called the, the PAN Promise. This is a validated instrument, multilingual, that was uh, derived, derived to assess patient reported outcomes in acute pancreatitis trials. Particularly, it focuses on seven domains, but most important, I think, are the abdominal pain, tolerance of, the, of bloating, and nausea and vomiting, and there were some other parameters. But nonetheless, once they were objectified as five or less, a max score of 10, they were begun in oral feedings. And these oral feedings were continued, and the infusion was stopped after 20 hours in the moderate fluid resuscitation, if the tolerance was eight hours or more, 
And in the aggressive fluid resuscitation group, they had to tolerate for 48 hours and then at least eight hours if they tolerated for after 48 hours, at least eight hours, the fluid infusion was stopped at that point as well. So what does this tell us? A couple of things. One is that, first of all, the fluid used is lactate and ringers. That's a standard of care. Number two is appropriate fluid resuscitation is critically important because the overload is where we really run into the problem as it relates to patient safety. And again, this is something that's predicted based on, on hypoperfusion and hypovolemia. We need to do a bolus appropriately, but most patients otherwise Uvolemic, they can just be started on a maintenance dose and aggressive early in, uh, oral feedings and stopping the infusion once the oral feedings are tolerated. So wake up call, axiomatic and game changer. Fluids are the answer, but moderate and assessing moderate and in uvolemic patients, just maintenance fluids is really important. Lactated ringers, standard of care, new standard of care is appropriate fluids in, in the acute pancreatitis. I'm Dr. David Johnson, Game changer changes my practice and should change yours as well. Thanks again for listening.